Hello, this is uh, Ken Obasi Leslie again uh, with another upload, another uh, video. And I really hope that everybody's doing fine. Uh, you know, hope that, uh, you know, we uh, <clears throat> are in our right minds and, you know, our spirits are elevated, you know. Uh, during these times, it's not easy to uh, maintain, but uh, it can be done, you know, it can be done. You know, it's just that, like we're just in this world of uh, confusion right now. Well, you know, we're going through what you call the shift and, uh, you know, reset and things are changing and, and uh, we have to make decisions and you know, we don't always make the right decision, but hey, you know, uh, but it's all about learning. It's all about, uh, uh, you know, learning from your mistakes or if it's a mistake or take a mistake and make it into something else, you know. Uh, you know, I mean, it all depends on how you look at it. You know, it uh, may not be a mistake. It may just be another way and another, uh, you know, uh, another test. Let's put it that way, you know. So, as I always do, um, I like to, uh, you know, uh, do uh, a little uh, tarot reading. And uh, I'm reading from the uh, Osho Zen tarot cards, you know, one of my favorite cards. Of, you know, uh, from time to time, I, I read from the Orisha deck, uh, but, uh, you know, it's just that, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I like what uh, Osho has to say, you know, and, uh, and, you know, and again, you know, it's just that uh, uh, it's all about going with the flow and, you know, and keeping your heart as light as a feather, whatever you need to do that, you know. Uh, you know, staying out of uh, all these opinions, you know, it's just everything doesn't deserve an opinion, you know, it's just that, uh, uh, you know, especially when you connect your emotions to it, you know, and then it, it just, uh, you know, it, it starts affecting other things other than just uh, your mind, you know. Uh, the first card I'm pulling is called the uh, the fool, you know, and uh, the fool is one who gives goes on trusting. He just goes on trusting, you know. A fool is one who goes on trusting against all experience. You deceive him and he trusts you, and you deceive him again and he trusts you again. And you deceive him again, and he trusts you again. And then you will say that he's a fool. He does not learn. His trust is tremendous. His trust is so pure that nobody can corrupt it. Be a fool in the uh, Taurus sense, in the Zen sense. Don't try to create a wall of knowledge around you. Whatever experience comes to you, let it happen and go on dropping it. Go on cleaning your mind consciously. Go on dying to the past so you can remain in the present. Here, now, as if you were, you were just born, just a babe in the beginning it's going to be difficult. The world will start taking advantage of you. Let them. They are poor fellows. Even if you're, if you are cheated and deceived and robbed, let it happen because that is which that which is really yours cannot be robbed from you, and which is really yours nobody can steal from you. And each time you don't allow situations to corrupt you that opportunity will become an integration inside you. Your soul will become more crystallized. 
You know, you know, and I was saying like, keep that heart as light as a feather, because you know, it's, and you know, we be running around, you know, just like going off, because we don't want to be nobody's fool, you know, we don't want nobody to say this or say that about us, you know. Damn it, it's not true. It's not true, you know, or whatever. You know, it's just that uh, uh, because somebody's not satisfied or whatnot, you know, then it's all your fault, you know. Uh, you know, you're this, you're that, you know, uh, you're not living up to what they expect of you or whatever, you know, uh, all of those things, uh, you know, uh, people will like, even project their own limitations on you and try to create that within you, you know, so, uh, so just basically just happily be a fool, you know, just you know, just go ahead and, and uh, you know, let it go, you know, let it go, you know, it's just that, like, uh, uh, you know, it's, <clears throat> I mean, you know, why go through all this debate and arguing and all that kind of stuff, you know, and uh, because, you know, it's just that, because it, it, it's not going to do well for your heart, it's not going to do well for your health or whatever, you know. And, you know, you're going to be angry, you know, somebody pulls in front of you uh, while you're driving and whatnot, and tries to cut you off and whatnot. Oh, man, that mother, uh, you know, and I mean, hey, you know, um, you know, it, everything's energy and everything's energy. And, you know, and, and the thing is, you want to keep your energy flowing right, you know, and, uh, and everything. So, uh you know, just go ahead and be a fool, you know, I mean, you know, it's not going to hurt you, you live through it, you know, next card here is abundance, you know, hold on just a second, I, I'm, you know, I'm going to get rocky, rocky every now and then, goes through this little howling or whatnot, maybe it's because of the music, I don't know, you know, but I'll be right back. Sorry about that, y'all. You know, got the, you know, a little Eric Dolphy in the background doing his thing on the saxophone. You know, his uh, partner uh, Booger Little on uh, trumpet. Hey, you know, rocket, rocket. Abundance. You know, uh, in the in the East, people have condemn the body, the baby. Condemn the matter, call matter illusionary, maya. It does not really exist. It only appears to exist. It is made of the same stuff as dreams are made of. They denied the world. That is the reason for the East remaining poor, sick, and in starvation. Half of humanity has been accepting the inner world, but denying the outer world. The other half of humanity has been accepting the material world and denying the inner world. Both are half. No man who is half can be contented. You have to be whole, rich in the body, rich in science, rich in meditation, rich in consciousness, only a whole person is a holy person. According to me, I want Zorba and Buddha to meet together. Zorba alone is hollow. His dance has not an eternal significance. It is a uh, momentary pleasure. Soon he will tired of it. Useless you have inexhaustible sources available to you from your cosmic uh, cosmos itself unless you become existential you cannot become whole this is my contribution to humanity the whole person 
you know. So, you know, yeah, you have to be, you know, it, uh, you, you, sometimes you just can't be so spirit, spiritual that you're no earthly good, you know, it's just that. I mean, you know, it's all as above, so below, you know, as within, so without, you know. So, you know, it's all, yeah, you know, it's just that we live in an illusion, but, uh, but the illusion is real. Uh, because of our perception and, uh, uh, and the way that we, uh, uh, you know, perceive it through our five senses or whatever, you know. So, therefore, that uh, we have to deal with the laws of those perceptions or whatever, you know. So, uh, you know, but, you know, we, we do have power over uh, our manifestation and we do have power over what we have to do in order to get things to uh, to the work to happen, you know, for us and what I, you know. So, you know, it's just that. Uh, but that's the way it is, you know. Excuse me. I got uh, Sebastian's here. You know, she's uh, she's wanting to jump in my lap or whatnot, you know. So, hey, you know, it's just that. Uh, you know, so you're gonna you're gonna be part of the reading too. You know, so uh but you know that's abundance, you know, you know uh, you know, abundance is uh is more than just physical, you know. Abundance is uh also spiritual, you know. And so next card here is slowing down. Wow, we do need to slow down, you know. Sometimes, you know, we be all in our heads and whatnot. We're trying to get here, we're trying to get there, we're trying to, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just that, like, sometimes, you know, I go through this thing where, God, I'm older, I need to be here, I need to be there, and whatnot. Let me hurry up and get there, you know. And, uh, well, you know, and then, you know, next thing I'm, I'm like huffing and puffing and I'm exhausted, you know. So, uh, meditation is a kind of medicine. It is used only for the time being. Once you have learned the quality, then you need not do any particular meditation. Then the meditation has to spread all over your life. Walking is Zen. Sitting is Zen. Then what will be the quality? Watchfully alert, joyously, unmotivated, centered, loving, flowing. One walks. And the walking is uh, sauntering. Loving, alert, watchful. One sits unmotivated. Not sitting for anything in particular just enjoying how beautiful just sitting is doing nothing is how relaxing how restful after a long walk you sit under a tree and the breeze comes and cools you each moment one has to be at the ease with the, with oneself not trying to improve not cultivating anything not participating in anything. Walking is zen, sitting is zen, talking or silence, moving or unmoving. The essence is at ease. The essence is at ease. That is the key word. Essence is at ease. That is key statement. Do whatever you are doing, but at the deepest core, remain at ease, cool, calm, and centered, you know. So, you know, and and, that, and that's the thing, you know, it's just that, uh, you know, sometimes we just have to get out of our, our desires and whatnot, you know, and stop thinking so much about, uh, you know, where we need to be, where we're going, because because a lot of times all of that is, is, is based upon um, uh, what we've been programmed to, uh, to perceive 
and you know to achieve uh or whatever you know so sometimes you know it's just that uh, yeah we just need to slow down just uh, you know i just went through experience just uh day before yesterday you know it's just that uh, sometimes i forget to slow down sometimes i just you know forget to hey you know uh you know let me get this done let me get that done you know uh, you know, this needs to be done, let me get that done, let me get this done, or whatnot, you know, and then something happens and says, oh man, let me sit down for a minute, you know, so, uh, you know, it's, it's slow down, it's good, slowing down is good, you know, and, you know, slow down so you can see where you're going, you know, and uh, stop clinging to the past, these tenses, past, present, and future are not the tenses of time. They're the tenses of the mind. That which is no longer before the mind becomes the past. That which is before the mind is the present. And that which is going to be before the mind is the future. Past is that which is no longer before you. Future is that which is not yet before you. And present is that which is before you and is slipping out of your sight. Soon it will be the past. If you don't cling to the past because clinging to the past is absolutely stupidity. It is, it is no longer there. So you are crying for spilled milk. What is gone? And don't cling to the past because that is also going and soon will be the past. Don't cling to the future hopes, imagination, plans for tomorrow because tomorrow will, will become today, will become yesterday. Everything is going to become yesterday. Everything is going to go out of your hands. Clinging will simply create misery. You will have to let go, let go, you know. So yeah, you know, it's just that like, uh, clinging to the past or clinging to anything, you know. I mean, you know, clinging to an idea that you want. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with uh, having a bi ambition or being motivated for something that is uh, is in your spirit, you know, and uh, or whatever, you know, but sometimes, you know, we, we uh, get to uh, deep into our brains, our conscious brain, and it gets in the way of our manifestation. So, um, sometimes, you know, we're, we're clinging to something that we want so bad that, you know, uh, some, you know, the old saying is, uh, if you uh, search for what you see, you never find it. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's uh, kind of a situation that, uh, you know, it's kind of philosophical, whatever, you know. But, uh, but any, anywho, you know, it's just that get off that clinging, you know, and, you know, just let go, you know, as they say, let God, you know, and, uh, and things, things will happen. Here's uh, Sebastian's again. And, uh, you know, she's sort of uh, clinging to me right now, but it's all right, Sebastian. That's all right. You know, you know, we'll let that go. We'll let that go. And we'll go with the flow. Go with the flow. When I say become water, I mean become a flow. Don't remain stagnant. Move. And move like water. Allow, says... The way of Tao is the water course way. It moves like water. What is the movement of water or a river? The movement has a few beautiful things about it. One, it always moves toward the, towards the depth. It always searches for the lowest ground and uh, it is non-ambitious, non-ambitious. It never hankers to be the first. It wants to be the last. Remember, Jesus said, those who are, are the last here will be the first in my kingdom of God. 
he is talking about the watercourse way of Tao, not mentioning it, but talking about it. Be the last and not ambitious. Ambition means going uphill. Whatever goes down, it searches for the lowest ground. It wants to be a a no netity. Can't pronounce that word. It does not want to declare itself unique, exceptional, extraordinary. It has no ego except idea. You know. So you know it's just that. Uh, sometimes you know it's just that. Uh, you know we get. Uh, the flow has a lot to do with our, our inner selves and you know and when we know where we're going you know it has nothing to do with how fast we get there right right and uh so you know it's just that uh and, and a lot of times what we have to do is uh well i had to let the uh, sebastian's down because she was like, she was into a, uh, a scratching, itching frenzy or whatnot, you know. And uh, you know how that goes. But uh, but yeah, you know, it's just that uh, uh, I wanted to uh, just kind of talk to you about some things. And you know, it's just that, you know, about the flow, about, you know, it's just that, cause you know, we live in this world, everybody's just too uptight, too uptight. You know, you know, need to get this together. We're not doing this right. We're not doing that right. You know, blah blah blah. You know, it's just that. I mean, sometimes you get a certain age. You know, it's just you're not even worried about that anymore. You know, it's just that. Like, right? Sometimes is is your attitude towards a, a particular thing. You know. I mean, you know, it's just that, you know, it's talking about truth, and you know, it's truth is how you see it, you know, how you perceive it, you know, so, you know, it's just that, uh, uh, why fuss about it, why debate about it, why, why go through what you got to go through about, it? you know, just let, let it flow, you know, let it flow, you know, it's just that, like, and, but keep a good heart, keep a good heart, you know, and, you know, it's just, and, and it will flow right, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, keep a good heart, be, be gracious, you know, be patient, you know, uh, be loving, you know, and it's going to flow right. It's going to flow right. So, uh, I want to thank you for taking this time with me. I'm not going to be here this long. Uh, every now and then I want to show a piece of artwork, but, you know, uh, there's a piece up there that you can see uh, that I'm working on. Uh, again, you know, I'm, I'm in my studio and, uh, uh, you know, I got uh, Sebastian's down here uh, waiting to jump back on my lap, you know, but, uh, you know, that's not going to happen. So, uh, I want you to maintain and, and be well. Uh, have a great uh, life and uh, until next time Ken Obasi says Odabo